So the other day I made that video where I talked about how I record my videos here. And one of the things I mentioned that I was thinking about getting is what's called a microphone shock mount. And basically what it does is it holds your microphone sort of suspended by materials that will not accept vibration. And the reason for this is so that if I'm here talking to you and I bump my table, that vibration is going to travel across my table, up my microphone's boom arm and into the microphone and be picked up. Likewise, if I'm moving my, my mouse around, you're gonna hear it more because that vibration can make its way to the microphone. So I went on to Amazon and I bought this thing. It's like $22. It's supposed to work with my Blue Yeti microphone and it is a shock mount. So I'm going to install it here in front of you, hopefully. And then I'm going to do some things to see if it did in fact help at all with any of those sounds. So let's um, pop the dude open first and we'll go from there. So there's basically nothing in the box. There's just like a piece of foam, the shock mount and some pieces of paper about stuff that doesn't matter. And then you've got the shock mount. And basically, yeah, what you've got here is this bit in the middle is suspended by these bits of elastic. And so your mic is going to be, like those vibrations aren't gonna travel up this. So the fact that it's isolated, you shouldn't hear any of those vibrations anymore. So now what I have to do is I have to disconnect my microphone take it off and install this thing. So I'm going to be uh, no audio. Okay, so I think I've got everything kind of installed here. And the first thing you're gonna notice, or that I noticed, is that you just, you got some jiggle there, right? Because I mean, it's suspended by this elastic. But I mean, there you go. That's what it's gonna look like. You've got a little bit of adjustment, uh, you know, here to loosen that, to be able to turn and angle it. And of course, I've got some adjustment there to be able to do the same. I'm curious to know, as I move it around like this, is that making any noise at all? And now I'm gonna hit my table. And I'm gonna do this. And I don't know, I guess we're gonna find out if that helped at all. Um, if I'm you know, moving around, I'm, I'm, I'm bumping the table. Does any of that noise come through? I guess we'll find out. So obviously when I hit my mouse or hit my table, that makes sound and the microphone is going to pick it up. But what you're going to notice you're not hearing anymore is this weird echoey kind of tone to it. That seems to be gone. And no, in fact, when I move this around, it wasn't making any noise at all. Now there was a, a creak in the <laughs> a creaky noise in the arm and it did pick that up. But overall, hey, $22. If you've got a microphone like that and you're worried about background noise or shifting around noise, not too bad. I'm pretty happy with it. So guys, hope you enjoyed this quick little studio update video here on a you know a weird extra Sunday video. Stay tuned for more content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.